Our aim for this competition is to complete every obstacle phase and win the competition. However, even if we don't win it, we won't feel sad and it will still be a great learning experience for us. There are a total of 8 lessons in preparation for this training. The first two lessons is for building and choosing the robot design and the next two lessons is improving the software, aka programming the robot. After that, the next lesson is testing the robot and bringing it out onto the field and also calibrating the sensors. The last two robot is writing the last two lessons is to writing the script and recording it. We choose to use Lego Mindstorm for programming. There are two bottom dutch motors for movement and one large motor for the fish. The wheels have tracks to help with the speed bump. The robot uses railroad drive, meaning that the power is at the back wheel, so it has more power to push the robot forward. Railroad drive can move faster too. The cage has, the cage has a one-way door, so the ball can go in but can't go out. There's a rescue box, which is for the rescue kit. When the, res when the cage drops down, the rescue kit cage will drop down too. There are three color sensors and one ultrasonic sensor. The three color sensor for line tracing and evacuation point in the evacuation zone. The color sensor for line tracing has a one finger gap. There's an ultrasonic sensor located at a perfect height to sense the obstacle. Infrared sensor was not used because the sensor uses light and the object could be transparent which allows light to pass through, making the making ultrasonic sensor a more reliable choice. For line tracing, we choose double color sensor line trace. We use an array of three color sensors. The middle sensor helps the robot to be in the center and allows the robot to turn more efficiently. For object detection, we use the ultrasonic sensor to detect the object and program it to maneuver around the object. We overcame the speed bump using tracks in the front roller as this allows the robot to traverse through the speed bump much more efficiently. For line tracing, we use double color sensor line trace to tr trace the lines and overcome the gaps. When both of the car sensor sensors black, the robot will move back a little. When the robot sensor is green, if the green tape is on the left, the robot will turn left. Same for the right. And in both Sensors, sensor, sensor screen, the robot will turn. One thing has turned, it will continue with the night tracing. object detection, we use the ultrasonic sensor to detect the object and program it to maneuver around the object.
After clearing all the stages, the robot enters the evacuation zone and deposits the rescue kit in the evacuation point. The robot sweeps around the field to find and rescue the victims using the cage. The robot will use the color sensor to detect black. The robot will use the color sensor to detect a black triangle in the corner and put the rescued victims in there. The robot will go to the designated point and exit the evacuation zone. Throughout this journey, we faced numerous troubles. Here are some of them. One of the troubles was that we couldn't sense the green tape. Our solution is to calibrate the sensor. Another trouble is that we couldn't go past the gaps. Our, so our main solution is to upgrade the programming so that it can go through more efficiently. Lastly, we also had troubles doing the object detection. This is because we used IR sensor at first. In the end, we learned that the object could be transparent and switch to ultrasonic sensor. We learned some important skills, such as active listening, teamwork and perseverance. These skills will help us to improve in the competition. In this journey, we have to try out new things, such as PowerPoint, as we were unfamiliar with it. We also have to record live, which we face many difficulties in. However, we overcame all these problems as a team. Thank you.